ओम शांति फोर्थ ऑफ जनवरी 2019 फ्राइडे विस्पर्स फ्रॉम बियॉन्ड सो टुडेज टीचिंग इज इन ऑर्डर टू शो द प्रैक्टिकल फ्रूट ऑफ सर्विस जस्ट एज फादर ब्रह्मा सर्वड through his spiritual stage in the same way your children also now have to reveal your spiritual stage atmik sthiti the soul is said said to be the ruh and it is also said to be the essence so by staying in your spiritual stage ruhani stage you will become both the attraction of divine virtues that is the essence is the spirit and soul conscious form will also be visible so i'm saying in order to show the practical fruit of service brahma served through his spiritual stage then in the similar manner you have to reveal your spiritual stage the word ruh baba is saying has got two meanings what are the two meanings of the word ruh ruh means ruh means soul and second ruh means essence or itr or saint these are the two meanings of the word is uh, ruh but ruh word has got third meaning also that means crux of thing or essence of things the first meaning is soul or spirit the word ru means soul the second meaning of the word ru means scent aroma fragrance itr whatever you call it so that is the that is also known as essence and the third meaning of the word ru is crux of things the essence of things when we want to describe something in nutshell we say in essence the sum total of things to cut the long story short the thing is this so that is the sar so one is atma second is itra and third is sar these are the three meanings of the word ru baba has used these two today so by staying in your spiritual stage you become both so you are ruh and when you stay in your ruhani stage in your spiritual stage you become both what both first soul or soul conscious vision and second essence essence means fragrant that means divine virtues the attraction of divine virtues that is the essence of the spirit and the soul conscious form will also be visible so baba is saying just as father brahma served through his spiritual stage you also serve through your spiritual stage and serving through spiritual stage is a very high form of service or rather the highest form of service when one is not speaking anything when one is not doing anything just one is situated in one's elevated stage in our spiritual stage means in our soul conscious stage and when one is soul conscious what all things happen when one is soul conscious few things start happening without our knowledge whether we know it or not wittingly unwittingly few things start happening even if the person is unaware of being any knowledge of the soul but still sometimes they go away from the consciousness of the body and few things start happening for example those who were not people who were not very interested in spirituality even when they get detached from the body few things start happening to them they also experience some glimpses of that spirituality they are not at all spiritual they are not interested in god philosophy religion 
but suddenly they go away from the body suddenly they get detached from the body and suddenly they get that glimpse of that spirit so something happens to them what is that when one gets out of body consciousness something happens uh, there was a famous dancer michael jackson and he has written that when i dance a stage would come in my life in my dancing when the dancer and the dance would become one a stage would come when i would forget that i am body and the dancer means he himself and the dance would become one such a stage would come now these are those people who are not spiritual if you see and analyze numerous poetries of the european romantic poets you will see the glimpse of spirituality even though none of them is very much spiritual none of them is very much religious rather they were atheist out and out non believer and yet sometimes in those moments in the proximity of nature they experience the glimpse of the unknown they experience that subtle power which is pervading the universe and they could get in tune with that power all the poetries of william wordsworth wordsworth or robert sothi or john keats or shelley you will see that glimpse ki they are talking something which is not of this world so anyone the moment you go out of body some experience start happening that going out of the body may not have the spiritual basis or love of god or divine love as a basis but even the love for nature the american poet what whitman he has written in one of the poetries and he has compared human beings to plants and he has said these plants are much much greater than human beings he maintained that proximity with those animal kingdom with those plant kingdom and for a moment he is going out of the body and something is writing which is out of the world so any person for whatever reason he goes out of the body he starts experiencing something else now baba is saying you are ruh ruh means you are soul so get situated in this soul conscious stage so the question is what happens when we are soul conscious what happens when we are soul conscious first to ourselves what happens what happened to others what happens to five elements and what happens to baba when we are soul conscious so what happens to ourselves when we are soul conscious vinay bhai we appear we have become light the cause of our heaviness is body consciousness the cause of our tiredness is body consciousness the cause of our fatigue is body consciousness it's not the work it's not the work one may have a lot of work to do and one is soul conscious and calm and quiet within that would not appear a great work he will give excuses for not doing it in today's sakar murli there has come a very beautiful word i don't know what is the english word for it there are children natate natate if you do you will not become natwar natate means to say no no sayers for every work they will say no if you do like this you will not become natwar natwar means actor great actor or it's a word an epithet for krishna 
so when we are soul conscious what happens we become light next when we are soul conscious what happens to us it's hmm nutrition we become new touchings okay so the moment you get soul conscious something start flowing from above something afar from the sphere of our sorrow in the poetic language something some new touching start coming to us and so long we are highly body conscious touching shy away from us so soul consciousness touching start coming what else experience the power of soul we experience the power of soul and we become more powerful the moment we get detached from the body power start filling the soul the moment we go out of the body automatically unprecedented powers unimaginable powers unthought of powers start descending from above so the moment we are soul conscious we are powerful what else we can run okay mm-hmm. aunt we can go beyond time soul consciousness is a stage of timelessness soul consciousness is a stage of egolessness time stops or you go beyond time it's a stage of timelessness it is a stage of spacelessness it's a stage of egolessness when we are absolutely soul conscious time as if stops space disappears and ego vanishes and we get that glimpse of happiness which is beyond so soul conscious is that stage where time goes away everything in the world has got three dimensions length let length breadth and width what is the fourth dimension soul is the only thing which has got fourth dimension what is that time time has got fourth soul has got the fourth dimension they say which is time and that's why when we are absolutely soul conscious we go even even beyond that fourth dimension so when we are soul consciousness we become we reach we transcend that ego we go beyond that time consciousness what else when we are soul conscious what happens to ourselves you can understand what the other thing you become thought reader you can become thought reader what else detached from everything which is outside from drama also there is one concept which is known as time travel what is that those who are students of science they would know this you can travel anywhere in the past time travel time travel means you are here now you can go back to copper age and see the things there like that harry potter and hermione in that <laughs> they they have a time machine and they go back and because she could not uh, pass one exam so hermione goes back his friend and they go back in the drama and not drama in that uh, their life and they pa- give that exam again so time travel is to go back when you are soul conscious you can also predict things because you become trikal darshi you become knower of three aspects of time you start knowing things because we are in perfect harmony with nature perfect harmony with drama there is once baba had said to didi man mohini i don't think it is recorded anywhere and baba baba said to her now you say that things are happening as per drama now you say this 
this has happened it was in the drama it was recorded in the drama a time will come when your thoughts and drama will run parallel you will think the same thing will happen in drama that's the highest stage of soul consciousness where you your thoughts same thoughts would come to your mind as is going to happen in drama so these two things would run parallel and that's why you could start seeing what is going to happen like jagdish bhai had described when mahatma gandhi was assassinated even one week before he predicted that he would get assassinated something happened to him and that made him tell and even before his own death he knew that he is going to die so there are souls who get to know premonition or precognition of things so when you are soul conscious you can even predict and you can go back in the time and you become trikaldarshi so when you are soul conscious these all things happen then what else you can power you can transfer your powers to others you become channel channel or you become divine healer our journey you know in the medical conferences what they tell to doctors uh you are at present physical doctors and you have come here to become double doctors and from double doctor you will become healer and from healer you will become divine healer and from divine healer you will become angel this is what they <laughs> tell in the medical conferences which are happening over here so it's a journey to become angel so with the knowledge or uh, the practice of soul consciousness you become a healer a divine healer who would cure the maladies of the soul who touch would heal the incurable wounds of emotions passions relationships what else when we are soul conscious what happens we are fearless we achieve the stage of fearlessness the very cause of fear is attachment to body yesterday one kumar had called up and he said that i want to talk urgently and my fear is that from my childhood i have the fear that i would die this is the fear i have that gripping fear that i am going to die now i am 30 years old but that fear is so deep in my subconscious mind that i cannot get rid of it and now there are few other associated fear i fear that my other people my father would die then what will happen to me these are the things fear has gone so deep percolated so deep within and the people are suffering from all such things so the only way or panacea for all such thing is soul conscious stage to practice being soul and soul and soul recently one brother who was also had come from outside and he had one fear and his fear was that he would meet with an accident and a vehicle would come and crush his leg and he used to f- see this dream every day here he came here he underwent some spiritual counseling and now he said now last four days i have not seen that dream for the first time this has happened otherwise every night i see the same dream a vehicle comes and crushes my leg and i have become paralyzed so you know this fear is the cumulative result of many births sanskar so every soul is harboring some or other fear is getting paralyzed by this fear so no the fear so the moment we become soul conscious we become nirbhay we become intrepid fearless and that fearless stage is the result of soul consciousness what else yeah there are known fears some are unnatural fears they are known as phobias because fear is not the result of just this birth fear is the result of many many births 
in the last birth somebody had a fear somebody had died because of drowning this birth right from his childhood he fears water so it depends on the cause and you one need to explore and that's why this hypnotic regression has got a lot of importance in treatment of phobias unnatural fears which have got no basis so sometimes they come up after coming in gyan till that if they were dormant in today's sakar murli there is a very associated point not directly related to this but baba said uh, suppose somebody gets bankrupt and after coming in gyan he gets bankrupt but don't think that that has nothing to do with gyan no that look it has nothing to do with gyan that is your karmic account you have to finish gyan coming in gyan and not coming in gyan is nothing to do with your karmic account whether you are in gyan or not in gyan you have to finish those account so these are the some of the things that happen when we are soul conscious on ourselves the second thing what happens to others when we are soul conscious what is the effect of our soul consciousness on other souls yeah that's the highest stage first of all when you are soul conscious you can make other soul conscious when you are soul conscious automatically your peace your purity is radiating so it's going out so the moment it goes out the others who come in contact with you they will feel peaceful because they will feel that energy that power of peace within and when you are soul conscious as one of the meaning of ruho is spirit and essence or fragrance or aroma your aroma of purity will spread so they will get attracted to that aroma of purity because the thirst of each and every soul is purity is for purity the purity is covered by so many layers of impurity and that's why soul is suffering so much but the moment they see a bigger magnet they would get pulled to that soul because of purity that's why all the religious founders who came on this planet all the souls gathered around them why it was the power of purity that pulled because the sanskar of purity is already in the soul and when the soul is covered and there are layers after layers of impurity it has gone away from purity the moment you find a soul with greater purity power the soul start get attracted to that soul so the moment you are soul conscious you attract souls you send currents of purity and you start influencing also and some may even um, get attracted so much so that they become follower such a thing happens because of soul consciousness and this in fact becomes a maya for that soul also sometimes <laughs> in incognito maya here maya shoots you in today's murli baba said anguri that's i don't know which word is that so when you are soul conscious you are making others peaceful what else yeah the same thing what else ha huh? you become inspiration for others okay what else actions and behavior nay what is on them them others we are soul conscious what is happening to other the one who is near me one who is coming in contact with me what's happening to them when i am soul conscious they become they also become soul conscious because soul consciousness uh, creates soul consciousness soul consciousness is very creative thing it will create the same situation in others because they themselves would be reminded of their original pure nature and the body consciousness will reduce or drop off gradually so that's the effect on others what is the effect on five elements of nature mm mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah even baba has said to the extent that a time will come when you will have to burn the sinful actions of other souls with karma not just your own but others also so when they are in dilemma when they are in bad shape when they are in difficulty or catch 22 situation sitting on the horn of dilemma that time you can 
become a guide or that time you become inspiration or that time you can reduce their difficulty or their problems just by your presence without uttering a single word you aren't doing anything you're just there and things would settle down on its own so there are many the list can go on and on effect on five elements of nature when we are soul conscious what is its effect on the nature when we were body conscious what happened to nature nature entered from it became tama pradhan all the more we became body consciousness from the copper age people started playing hunting before that animals were non violent and then that play of hunting started we started killing animal and then those animals also become violent because of this killing so whatever we do the same has got effects on the animal kingdom as well and they most of them got extinct they are no more, nowhere to be seen many things have happened like that so when we become pure all soul conscious automatically five elements start getting purified and what is the method of purification of five elements hmm that is there what is the method of purification of five element destruction this is baba's statement when you become disturbance free destruction will start otherwise how the elements would get purified they would get they would undergo cataclysmic change by destruction everything all elements would get purified in ultimate way there is a hidden benefit in this destruction also because of this reason because this devastation of the or we don't call it devastation we call it transformation but that would lead to change and that would lead to uh, purification the process of purification has to go through destruction so destruction and the last what is the effect on god when soul is soul conscious what is the effect on god god <laughs> you will get attracted to him because he is the supreme magnet yesterday baba said i am the magnet the highest power is in me so when you become soul conscious you get attracted to him and what else what happens to him he gets happy as he always says i am happy bab dada is happy to see the soul conscious uh, happy and proud also and what will happen yeah he will be forced to come down <laughs> and breaking all his rules and regulations he will come down and what else huh god will trap that soul okay <laughs> and what else is god's current will go we will be in direct communication with god we will know what he wants what he desires what is his deepest desire for us so those same thing our connection our communion our interaction our union would become non stop incessant uninterrupted our divine communion with god would not get punctured by any any disturbance such unpunctured divine union with god will happen when we become soul conscious so ru has got two meanings one soul second itra itra is essence essence means fragrance so when you are soul conscious automatically few things will happen and when you are soul conscious automatically you start spreading fragrance om shanti om shanti